and just like every other time we are back except this time with a returning guest what's good lex how are you doing bro i'm doing good it's good to be back oh, during this time i'll be forgetting um and i'm glad to be back on the podcast hell yeah man it's it's a weird time right now I, I you know there's nothing really to say everyone's kind of already up to speed but we're keeping it positive. We're here to keep it positive and Facts. get get a positive outlook from your side mm-hmm. on how to feel during this time and what we can do. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, right now, uh, I feel like everyone is tapped into the media. Um, everyone's like, you know, chilling inside. And because of all this stuff going on, they feel like this is their time to chill when this is actually your time to come up. You know what I mean? How exactly, like, as far as mindset or business, or what what are you thinking behind that? Um, I mean, like, both. Like, mindset, business-wise, you know, stay positive. Um, Don't be like everyone else trying to just, you know, be laid back right now. Um, And what we're talking about right now is the coronavirus, for those of you that might not know. If you don't know... um, I don't know where you've been. I don't know, but... Look, um, right now, you know, definitely try to stay positive, um, work on yourself, work on your business. This is definitely time to stay inside and do what you need to do. You know, it's just, here's one thing I've been telling everyone today that Mm -hmm. I've came in contact with. I heard it yesterday on a different podcast and it made me feel a lot better. So pretty much they were saying that to be honest, there's a really good probability that like everyone has it like 95 percent of everyone has it and at first that might make someone worry but that's actually fantastic because if everyone has it like there might be a bunch of old people right now that have it with existing health conditions that have it and aren't showing symptoms and if they're not showing symptoms they're not going to go get tested the only people that are getting tested like 20 cases went up 30 cases the only people getting tested are the people that feel like ass yeah so when you compare the death rate, I don't know what they are right now, but let's say 100 t- cases, right? And you got 30 deaths, right? You're like, oh my God, are you kidding me right now? I got like 30%. But in reality, there's probably, we probably all have it. It's probably like, like I'm just trying to, all I've been trying to tell people is it's serious and you got to take yeah. it serious. But the ratios that they're talking about, bro, are off. Like, I'm not trying to sound ignorant and say mm-hmm. that. The flu has killed more people. Hunger kills more people. I'm not trying to be one of those people. But you do got to back up real quick and honestly think about it. Like, why would there be, like, one person here, worker here? I think everyone's got it, bro. I think everyone's got yeah. it, and it's kind of good news. Yeah, see, I haven't heard that yet till right now. But, um, you know, if everyone does have it, I don't know how, how I feel about it. Right now, I mean... I haven't really been letting this like affect me personally, but I know it's affecting other people. I know it's affecting a lot of businesses out there. So, um, you know, it is definitely like a hard time right now for a lot of people. And, um, you know, even with me with shoes, uh, selling shoes has been a little rough because, you know, we have stores closing down, stores closing early. Um, I feel like, you know, this, this is not a good thing at all. And if everyone does have it, um, you know, I really don't know how to feel about that either. You know, I don't know. But like in a good, say. in a good way, you know, I guess I don't know how to, how I'll go about it. To be honest, like I can't really tap into it too much because I don't really know much about it. All I know is like, it's a big controversy right now. And I haven't really been like, to be honest, I haven't really done my research. You know what I mean? You know, I I agree with you that I'm not necessarily the guy but yeah, I've yeah, yeah. had this this stuff shoved down my throat by other people. And I like to watch uh, Joe Rogan. And he had this one guy on that's like, I forget what his title was, but he's like involved with like CDC, you know, like 20 year career, yeah. biological warfare, that kind of stuff. Like he understands and he didn't sugarcoat it. He didn't. He was like, yeah, this is a very serious thing. But he also said you can't do anything. So there's yeah. no need to panic. Facts. Definitely like. That's why I'm trying to tell people, like, continue doing what you're doing. Here, tilt that, tilt that a little up towards right you. Right here? Or, like, get down, down a little bit. Yeah. Good, yeah. good? Yeah, tilt it, like, down towards you. Yeah, perfect. All right, cool. We good? Yeah. All right, say less. So, um, 
What was I saying? You're talking about how you're not letting it affect you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to let it affect me. Um, I've been telling that to a lot of people too. Like, don't stop doing what you're doing because of all this stuff going on. You know what I mean? And I can't stress that enough. Like, continue like hustling. Continue trying to make your bread because it's more of a financial um, controversy than like a health controversy, in my opinion. I feel like a lot of people are going down financially than actual like health. Feel me? Yeah. What What direction do you think we should try to gain from this? Um. In In both those fields, we can go down. We can go down economic field first. Financially, what do you What lessons do you think we should learn once this kind of you know starts to die down, well, which it will? Definitely, um, a lot of people are gonna learn that they should start saving money. Um. A lot of people are going to start learning that they should have started like a side hustle. Um, and they, a lot of people are going to learn that a job can't hold you up unless you've saved money. You get what I mean? Uh, depending on where you work and how much money you make, I feel like that depends on your safety or not. You know, like how bad you're about to go down right now. Um, a lot of people have hit me up recently regarding like selling shoes. And they're like, yo, like I need to make some side money. I just got laid off of work for three weeks. And I'm just like, holy shit. Three weeks? Like, yeah, three weeks, bro. Um, and I was just like, damn, bro. Like, you know, I could put you in my course. You know, I'm not going to charge you the original price because I know what's going on. But, um, you know, it's definitely sad because a lot of people, they weren't ready for this. And I'm not saying I was ready for it, but I'm definitely not too affected by it. You get what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Because I, I still have my hustle. And that's why, like, you know, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, I buy and sell shoes. So, you know, I definitely do have some type of inventory stack to where I'm not going to go out too sad. You know what I mean? Even if I'm losing like five bucks on a pair of shoes, you know, I still have that $200. That's an asset. In. You know, yeah, it's, you know it's, what well, I mean? Not an asset, but like currency. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, currency. I consider it like an asset. Yeah, you know what I mean? Asset, because it's right. like you have stuff that you hold because you have intentions of it going up or, you know, it's a hot product that you can sell. So, you know, that's why I keep certain shoes, you know, just so times like this, like if I need to get rid of it, you know, I'll, I'll get rid of it. What's your go-to pair right now? Uh, Man, I mean. Mo l most money and that you think you could get gone the fastest. <laughs> Shit. Uh, well, there's a lot of Yeezys that have been dropping. That's what's been making me pretty good money right now this past weekend um you know i sold about 21 yeezys on on an app um and then i Fuck sold it. about 12 locally for pretty good prices so i so still you sold about like 35 something shoes yeah or i copped close to 40 pairs i was close to like i think 37 38 can, can i just ask you something right like how like where like where do you get forty? Like <laughs> don't they limit a person? Like do you, yeah, get, do you run bots? Do. It's um, multiple. Accounts? I don't run bots, but you know I do have a course, and I have people. I oh, put yeah. I put people in there that run bots, so that way they can run me and my entire you know student platform. Fuck man. Yeah. That's so cool. like when I when it's easy time, I tell them like, "Yo, run me up." <laughs> like that's it, and then um. That's just crazy. Forty yeah. oh, about forty sh pairs of shoes. Yep. I That's did like pretty a, well. I did pretty well. And this upcoming weekend, there's more Yeezys coming out. But with this whole thing going on, you have Foot Locker closing, Foot Action, um, DTLR. These are all Foot Stores closing. Nike's closed. Adidas. I, I don't know. I haven't heard anything about Adidas. Um, but everything is online now. Everything. And and this is this is to wake people up. Like. You know, for other people that don't have the sources that I have to where I can still be able to buy shoes online, you know, there's a lot of people that only buy shoes like in person locally. You know what I mean? So this is going to show like who's really in the hit, game. Yeah. Who's really like about this life. Plugged I in, quote right. unquote. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. I mean, the thing for me is when we first met met up and we were talking shoes i just didn't understand really that you could like push that many cuz mm -hmm. i mean i i've i've definitely you know knew about people selling shoes but then obviously when we met up and and talked that's when i kind of really started to realize that this is an industry yeah 
It's so, a billion dollar industry. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And it, it's crazy that I don't know, like it like I don't know, it's just crazy how e commerce is kind of taken over every aspect of business in yeah. a way that like in a crisis like now you're still pushing like what you, you push like 40 did like 30 something it's like 75 percent of your inventory was pushed online yeah. i just think that's incredible because like you said like if someone out there probably pushed 12 and they, they're still holding on to 30 still at a loss they're like holy shit like i just sunk my money yeah. to all these shoes and they're sitting here during a time like this i don't know yeah i definitely um i was pretty lucky to sell everything pretty early um because now the shoes are like breaking and what i mean by breaking is like you're not making a lot of money off of them no more so when i out of those 21 shoes that i sold on online i probably made like 10 to 15 dollar profit on each which is okay um but now it's like you're gonna make like four dollars five dollar profit maybe even break even at this point because Damn. So many people are thinking like how other people are thinking. They're like, damn, like, you know, I'm not making no bread. I need to sell this stuff quick. And that's what's been going on. I've been seeing a lot of shoes drop like 10%, 20% on prices. See, let, let's go down that rabbit hole. That's a good one right there. What do you think's the mindset going on where everyone's freaking out? They're selling stocks. They're selling mm -hmm. shoes. They're pulling cash out. Yeah. Like, what the hell, man? Do you think it, like it's a buffer that as a human being – you understand or do you think people are tripping because mm. I, I get it well but... everyone has a different situation you know what i mean yeah, so true. everyone yeah. someone you know they might have put all their money into a shoe or a release and now they're like holy shit <laughs> like i have no choice but to sell all this stuff because i don't have any inventory i don't have any um anything to back me up you know what i mean so a lot of people are just gonna sell now sell now even if they lose money so you know, it, it depends on everyone's situation. And that could really, you know, fuck up someone else's situation, too, because someone wants to sell everything now. Someone who has the capital and is who's, who's holding the shoes, you know, they're not going to make as much as they thought they were. You get what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of like for some people, they're making money. Some people are losing out the ass. Some mm -hmm. people are just trying to break even. Yeah. And we know which one you are. Shit, I'm making money. <laughs> I still have like, I still have eight <laughs> pairs that I haven't sold from this past weekend. So I gotta, I gotta figure out something with that. But, um, you know, it's definitely a tough time right now. I'm trying to like, I'm not really going out. There's nothing to do outside. It's closed outside. Literally like, how do you feel about everyone on spring break right now? Bro, if you're out on spring break right now, you're tripping, dude, <laughs> like you're tripping. Hard. I know so many people who are in uh, Miami mm -hmm. and then I, yeah, saw, they're tripping. I saw a video of like cops were shooting and oh, a crowd shit. was running and like the, the beach is closed after 5 PM might all be bullshit. I don't know. I don't know if my source was accurate, but I saw it and I believed it because it's Miami yeah. spring break. And then they showed like a video that, I mean, a lot of people are making fun of, mm -hmm. but uh, it's like an aerial, like helicopter video of the beach. And they're like ants down there, bro. It's like nothing's happening. Like the internet doesn't okay. even work out there. People are chilling, tanning. They're yeah, like, nah. People are tripping right now, bro. Like right now, I feel like it's one of those things is like for millennials, we're so like, oh, nothing's going to happen to me. Like I'm good. And even myself, you know, I'm like, I'm going to go out. I was at Target last night on Instagram Live. And like people are like, bro, like there's coronavirus out. You're at fucking Target. I'm just like, bro. You know, nothing's going to happen to me, but that's just how like we are, I feel like. And, you know, I tried dapping you up and then you were just like, you were like, nah, bro, like, nah, bro. we're not dapping each other up. I'm like, oh, shit. It's because, right. bro, I live with my grandma, bro. She's 76. Mm -hmm. She takes high blood pressure oh, medication. Yeah, I feel you. That's the only thing that's been tripping me out is this whole incubation thing where it sits in you for four days or whatever and you don't have symptoms. That's the part where I'm just like, really, bro? That's why I think everyone's got it, man. Yeah. Like, I just think it's. I think it's way more contagious than we think, but I think it's not as bad as we think. Yeah. We're just only... It's going to get bad, though. It's, gonna it's like bad. the Samsung phones, bro. Like, remember when they were all blowing up? Oh, maybe mm -hmm. like five, six phones. I don't know what it was. Maybe 20 phones. I don't know. Don't quote me. Yeah. But well, however many phones blew up, and everyone's like, holy shit, the phone blows up. And airplanes, bro, they don't let Samsung Galaxy... I think it's Note 7s, whatever that specific phone was. 
because you know the, I, they just don't don't let those on planes and there, there's like yeah. so many things but that was only like what five six phones they probably pushed like a couple hundred million phones right so yeah. it's one of those things where it's like okay man, who knows how many of those phones were gonna blow up inevitably had they not taken them back we just only heard about the ones that did blow up right Fact. so that's like a you know concept that just hit my head right now to explain what i what i'm trying to say mm-hmm. like bro I swear to you, people are going to work. Uber Eats, Chipotle is delivering yeah. for free. But it's, it's getting slow. It is getting slow. I mean? And, you know, going into national emergency and the World Organization declaring pandemic and us fucking spending here having a whole podcast about it, you know, <laughs> it's affected everyone. Yeah. But I just think that, like, this whole idea, bro, that, oh, some of the two cases, someone has it, don't go here. It's it. Bro, it's bullshit. It's, it fits in the air. Everyone <laughs> has it. You're telling me it's a six foot radius and people don't know they have it. That it's yeah. done, bro. But like, it's not done as in like, we're we're like done as a as a race. I'm just saying that like, it's gotta spread like it needs to spread. The people who are gonna get it are gonna get it. And the thing about it is that like, I don't think it's that bad. Like, I guarantee you, there's so many old people right now that have high blood pressure, that have diabetes, that have it, bro, and they don't know. And why would you go get tested? Why would you go waste money or even if it's free or whatever it is, waste time out of your day to go out and potentially catch the risk of catching it? You know, you could stay yeah. inside and. Why would you do that? But you could have it. So it's just, <laughs> I, 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 I see, I see, I see you like your, your thought process of it, but I feel like a lot of people, you know, they're not thinking like that. You know what I mean? A lot of people uh-huh. are just like, like people like me, for instance, you know, I'm kind of just like, bro, stay inside. Don't risk yourself getting it. And if you, let's say you do have it, like, bro, you, you have it like, I, I don't know, like I can't really say much about it. It's kind of fluids. Yeah. Like, NyQuil, DayQuil. <laughs> like, bro, I'm not I'm not too I don't try to dive deep. I, I'm really not even paying attention to this whole coronavirus thing, bro. Like I went to the gym, came back fine, showered. I'm all good. Like I don't feel anything. I'm still working. I'm still doing uh, what I need to do. I feel um, it, man. You know, don't let that shit affect you. That's all I can really say. But um, you know, I feel like a lot of people are like scared i guess but then you have other people like who don't really care and the people who don't really care who are like out and about you know like you said in miami and stuff like that you know they're gonna a few of those people are gonna have it and it's just like bro you can't do anything about it like some people just really don't care right now it's just which is fine like just don't come near me you know what i mean that's what i'm (laughs) saying it's not gonna affect them yeah it's gonna affect someone else or maybe it will yep 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 but I don't know. I really can't dive too deep on um, coronavirus right now because it's still kind of early into it. But, you know, to everybody listening right now, all I would tell you is what I said earlier, you know, stay focused, uh, do what you need to do. Take this time to improve yourself. You know, gyms are closing right now. And I feel like now people want to get healthy. Like gyms, all gyms close and they're like, oh, shit. Like now I got to work out. And I'm just like, bro, where was this like? mentality earlier you know what i mean and it's, it's really gonna wake a lot of people up um they're gonna be like fuck you know like i i have no job for four weeks you know i have to pay my bills i have stuff coming up you know so it's, it's gonna make a lot of people like sit down and if you're on your phone 24 7 like you're probably gonna come across a youtube video that's informational you're probably gonna see some informational shit on twitter you're probably gonna see some motivation on instagram like use that shit like use that shit as fuel like start learning a skill right now while you can because there's really not shit to do outside like there's really nothing you have no reason to be outside right now and like for someone who's always out and about like myself i'm even inside i'm just chilling like if I need to go out, I go out. I just went out, shipped two shoes, came back home. Like, there's nothing to do. It, the streets are, like, dead right now. Like, the mall, what are you doing at the mall? Stores are, like, for what? You know, you know you what bring, I mean? speaking of stores, how do you feel about everyone buying everything, man? What you mean? Buying what? All the toilet paper, all the milk. Oh, yeah. I nah. saw a picture of someone with 20 gallons of milk or, like, you know, Damn. some ballpark fucking 15, 16, I don't know. Just shoot numbers, yeah, yeah, but yeah. about like twenty gallons of milk, bro. Yeah, they're come tweaking. on, they're tweaking. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? I mean, you can People freeze milk. I don't know. I, but just the toilet paper and paper towel thing. I think toilet paper. You definitely need some goddamn toilet paper if you're gonna be inside all day. <sighs> you know, toilet paper is an essential. Um, <laughs> so the toilet paper thing, I can't really say too much about. But 
I went to the grocery store and I saw all this shit sold out. I was like, damn, like it's serious. Like told my dad, I was like, yo, you ever seen it like this before? He was just like, nah, not even like on 9-11. Like I didn't see it this bad. Cause it's, it's one of those things, man, where it's like, we're not out of gas. There's no war. We're not waiting for someone to launch a nuke. And there's really no, um, there's no leverage. Mm -hmm. It's everyone is fucked. (laughs) <laughs> but not because they are, but just because of the fact that it's everywhere. It's yeah. like West Virginia. I'm just kidding. But um, really, though, um, <laughs> but really, though, bro, it's kind of one of those things where it's the first time in like about a couple hundred years, man. I think even longer. Don't quote me, but where the entire globe is on the same playing field, on the same page, at the same risk. And I yeah. think that's what's remarkable about right now. And honestly, I hope change comes out of it, man. Yeah. Not to sound like a... A lot of things are going to change after this. You're going to see a lot yeah. of people move to online business. You're going to see a lot of people... You know, e-commerce is booming. Um, Amazon, actually, I just saw an article. They're hiring 100,000 people. They're trying to. <laughs> so, like, damn, you know, so- a, lot, a lot of people are going to realize, like, damn, like... I should have started earlier so I could have been set in this type of um you know predicament and they're going to they're going to start moving on like this is like a big wake up call and what's crazy about it is like I've been saying this since like last year you can ask my parents you guys my close friends like I've been saying like bro there's going to be some type of like economic fall and I didn't think it was going to be this soon don't get me wrong but you know, I, I definitely thought it was going to be like 2021, 2022, but it came a lot earlier than I thought. So, um, do you take it as a correction? Like not you, mm-hmm. but I mean like for the market, cause you know how they were saying, Oh, we're gonna have a recession. We're gonna have a recession. Yeah. Do you think like, not that this is the recession, but this could count as a correction to the economy because it's yeah. kind of, it could, it, it could yeah. be looked at like that. But I mean, to be honest, it's kind of just like, it's just a wake up call to everything. <laughs> what like, other angles do you think it's a wake up call towards besides uh, the obvious shit, the economy and whatnot? Um, Cause I mean, who really gives a shit about the economy, bro? That shit can kiss shit. my ass. People are dying. Like, come on now. It's a wake up call to health. To health, yeah. You know, <laughs> Bernie's getting a little spotlight right now. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like, it's a wake up call to everything you do in life. Like, I don't really know how deep That's I a- can really dive into that. Well, let me ask, let me take a, a, a weird perspective, right? Elections are coming up. They mm-hmm. delayed they delayed Georgia's elections for a month for primaries. They delayed all this shit, and this might have pissed some people off, but I really don't even care. But I I usually don't even vote, bro, because mm-hmm. then you get summoned for jury duty and like the, the whole electoral college, and like I'm like I don't even matter. But for primaries, we do matter. So I'll stick vote for primaries, but. Elections, I usually don't vote. But how do you think this will affect elections, man? Like, no one's got to go stand in a line to go touch the same Shit. machine that a thousand people just touched after all this. Like, I don't I- know, man. Like, to be honest, you know, the, when you put it like that, um, it's definitely going to affect the election. But I don't really pay too much attention on politics, if I'm being 100% honest with you. Like, I'm just yeah. kind of like, damn, okay, cool. Like, he's saying this, president's doing this. Um, I let them, the people who are into politics, do that stuff, you know, because um, that's not my field. That's not what I really like. And if I need a vote, it's going to vote. I'm going to vote on someone like, oh, shit, like this dude is fire. You know what I mean? Like this, this person right here has like, they're going to make a change. And I don't know. I don't really see that right now. I kind of just <laughs> been like, I kind of just been doing my own thing, man. Like, I feel you, man. I'm, I'm not the political guy either. Yeah. I just, I'm just thinking like. I just think it's it's crazy, man. Because I've just I'm, I've been pissed off, bro. I really have been pissed off because I've had multiple. I had goals for you know my personal life for yeah. this. Uh, before. Well, see, you can't let this affect your goals, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and that's but what I'm some of to my goals, people. bro. You don't get it. Like some of my goals involve human interaction. Like yeah. there's a lot of fields of business right now, bro, that are fucked because they involve human interaction that can't happen online. Well, and, we're we're interacting right now. You know I, mean, I mean, yeah, the po- <laughs> the podcast. I mean. I'm choosing to still meet up and do the podcast yeah. just because I'm like, I don't know. I'm here's the thing, man. I'm not meeting. I, look, I had someone trying to meet in the city, mm-hmm. and I I was talking about it with some friends, and someone mentioned something about 
something about Magic City or something about just in general that area having a case or something. And the studio I was going to, Camp Kirk Studio, you know, a lot of people know Camp Kirk. It, it's right there. Yeah. And once again, bro, my grandma and like, I, I'm just like, okay, like that doesn't need to happen right now. And I told bro, I was like, yo, man, like we can just meet up somewhere outside the city another time. Mm-hmm. I have to cancel. Like, sorry. Yeah. But I still pulled through here because, you know, we're at a top secret location. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the, um, this is the new office, I guess. Top secret location. Yeah. It's a new spot. Yeah. For those that haven't seen it yet. Uh, they never will. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is my new, um, my new location. I've been here grinding, been here working, man. It's been, it's been dope. I like it here. Um, I just moved out of downtown, so I've been fucking with the change. Like 2020, I told myself I was going to do this, and I'm doing it, so. I mean, hey, man, a lot of, there was good feedback from the first podcast. I, I had a lot of in-person interaction. People were asking about, like, resale, and I had another friend that does resale. I brought it up to him, and, mm-hmm. and they said they were going to check it out, and it's just one of those things where, you know, you're never going to know who you impact, but yeah. I guarantee you. There's yeah, a, I've been getting a, a lot of different like, um, you know, because I haven't really been posting about like this whole coronavirus thing. I've just been posting like me cooking, <laughs> like me me buying shoes, me selling shoes, me working, me doing me. And um, people been DMing me. They're like, yo, like I respect the hustle, bro. Like you're not letting this shit affect you. And I feel like that has to do a lot with like the people I surround myself with because or even if I don't surround myself with them, I'm really close with them to where I'm not going to, um, you know, follow everyone else just chilling at home and shit and not doing anything. You know, like my homies, as you know, Will, Patrick, those are my two close friends. Dooley as well. Dooley, um, Dooley and Will, bro. And yeah. Pat, but Dooley and Will. Will, bro, right now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What yeah, the Will's, hell? Will's going crazy. Bro, bro. with Amazon, yeah. Will is... Will snap and then Julie just got that that, office, bro. And stuff like that motivates me. You know what I mean? Having friends like that is like, yo, my boy Will hitting two hundred fifty thousand in sales. My boy Dooley just got a new office right down the street from here. Like, bro, it's 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 insane. Like, he's um, they're they're definitely doing their thing, and it makes me want to go harder. And that's why I stay away from the bullshit because you know they're my they're like close to my age. You know, Will's a year older than me. My boy Dooley's like two three years older than me and i'm not i'm not that um not that young so i'm just like bad like or not that old not that far behind yeah not that far behind that's a good way to put it that's what i was trying to say so that means if they're doing it i could definitely do it and they make me like want to tap into my industry 10 times harder because uh you know i i have a lot of knowledge with e-commerce i try doing what Dooley does right now like the whole wholesaling thing and believe it or not, even though I wasn't successful with it, you know, I definitely learned a lot of tips to trying to do it. You know what I mean? I look at that. What What did you get from it? What's from wholesaling? Yeah. So you're just trying Bro, to flip contracts? Yeah, yeah. You just got to be um, patient. You know, patience is key. when it, consistent. Yeah. Consistency. Having to call people. Um, you know, I, I did all my cold calling myself, you know, uh, getting back to people, following up trying to close you know what i mean that was the biggest part trying to close trying to get them to sign that contract that was one of the hardest uh things i had and you know i only got one property which was okay you know what i mean i didn't come up off of it and i didn't even sell it actually actually flopped but at the same time like we never we got the house under contract but we weren't able to sell it because we got it under contract for too high but here's the thing by flopped, you didn't lose money. You just lost time. Yeah, okay. but I, I feel like with time. I mean, know, no, of course like, that's just yeah, as yeah, big yeah. an asset. But but um, there was no know, financial I, I learned loss from it. Yeah, uh-huh. I was just like, bet you know, I'm gonna continue trying to do it, and I did it for an entire month. I'm talking about like, I would call in my room for like about an hour or two, and two hours max because I'd get pissed off at a certain time, and I'd just be like, all right, bet like I'm gonna do my day. I'll try this shit again tomorrow. Try it again tomorrow. All right, got a house under contract. Like, I'm going to call them back tomorrow and stuff like that. And it, it didn't go too well for me. But I was just like, you know what? Like, I'm going to learn from this and I'm going to apply it to, you know, the business that I'm in right now. So, you know, the one thing that I have uh, taken away 
from doing any of these podcasts and meeting people like you, meeting people like Will and Dooley and Pat and everyone else is that it's really all about perspective. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that the people that are tearing it up the hardest have is they have a really broad perspective on what they're trying to do. Like there's nothing that's like what I'm trying to say is I don't see with you pushing shoes uh, with Dooley pushing houses with Will on the market with e-commerce. Like I'm never seeing issues. Like I've seen since I've known Will did the podcast and just followed him on social media. I've seen him touch like three platforms, some mm-hmm. SD thing, some, um, geez, I've seen him on Shopify. He's posted the Amazon. He's posted yeah. one other. Etsy. Um, it was it Etsy. I don't know. I, I, there's yeah. like graphs or something. I don't know, man. I just know <laughs> that like, you know, there's no, it's not like a, th- like people think, man, that there's some gr- secret, some Bro, everything's websites. online. Like when Will told me to do Etsy, he was like, yo, Etsy's straight. I was like, all right, bet. Like if Will's doing Etsy, that means I could do Etsy. What did I do? I learned Etsy myself. And I would ask him like, you know, short questions and he, you know, answer them for me. And I'd be like, yo, bet, like I'm going to do it, apply it to my little store and more sales, more sales, more sales. Like. Every single day, I was improving on Etsy. Same thing with Shopify. Do you still use it? No, nah, I don't use it right now. Why? Because no. I'm more focused on shoes. Um, was it not making you that much money? Or is it no, one of I those... made about like $900 in sales. Jeez. And so let me ask you a question. What does that mean in sales? Like how much of that do you keep? Uh, So with Etsy, my profit was like... Pff, profit was like 60 to like 80% because I was buying the product for 50 cents, selling it on there for like $9.99 to $19.99. So it depended. Um, I actually had it at nineteen ninety nine at first, and I got like a couple of sales. I think like maybe fifteen, and then I was like, "All right, bet if I got fifteen at nineteen ninety nine, I'm gonna drop this shit to like nine ninety five or nine ninety nine, and I'm gonna Slap. get ten times more sales." And that's exactly what happened, bro. I only did Etsy for like a week or two, and then Etsy fucking banned me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why'd they ban you? Just because of some bullshit. Like the product was. It was a drop shipping product, so they found the product that I was selling, and they were like, "Yo, like, there's a drop shipping product. You can buy it here." And I was like, "Oh, damn, preach! Like, shut yeah. me down." What do you mean? So, I was taking the pro. I was drop shipping on Etsy. So they exposed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, but you know, I didn't care. I just made another store and did it again. But uh, right now, I'm not doing that. Um, one of my goals for this year alone was to focus on one thing and not try to tap into too many markets at once because um what happens is is like if you just focus on one thing you're gonna get really good at that one thing and that one thing that i love doing and that one thing i i enjoy is selling shoes so i just been focusing on selling shoes i'm not doing any shopify right now i'm not doing any etsy i'm not doing any amazon all i'm doing is just thing you're my, best at bro yeah i'm doing shoes and you know i might not be making as much money as you know uh shopify or etsy or amazon but it's something that i like to do and i know i can help other people do it as well and then on top of that i'm also learning at the same time you know what i mean i'm not just going into things you know don't get me wrong i'm still good at drop shipping i could go and shopify right now and probably get like ten thousand in sales and you know do good because I know what to do but you know I'm not doing that because I want to wait until it's my time to I have shoes such like a, a sustainable business I guess you could say that I'm like all right bet you know let me tap into something else and do that as well you know I really fuck with what you said back there because I feel like I subconsciously did the same thing where I wanted to just focus on one thing but for mm-hmm. me it's two things right now one of yeah. them is the podcast, and the other thing has been halted because it requires people mm-hmm. to, you know, exist and move around and mm-hmm. be normal, not like they are now. <laughs> so that's why I'm one of those people, man, who's like listening to you talk, and I'm like, fuck, I wish I, you know, maybe I should try to learn some of this. But yeah. I, the thing is, man, I've learned that if I try to touch everything at the same time, like if you try to be one of those guys – you just never like you never get you never to do, it there's no depth yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so like, that's what i was doing last year all last year that was my problem and this year you know i focused on you know being very um frugal 
on what I do. You know what I mean? If I'm going to do shoes, okay, bet. I'm going to do shoes. If I'm going to try to learn how to sell on Etsy, okay, look, I'm going to do shoes. And then at this time, I'm going to do Etsy. And that's it. Like, that's how you got to, you got to, you have to man, you have to discipline yourself. You know what I mean? You can't just be like, all right, bet. Shoes, Etsy, Shopify, day trade, uh, podcast. You know what I mean? Like, it's just too much because then you're not, you're, you're not going to put your full focus onto one thing. And social thing. life. Yeah. That, that, it's just so hard to balance. And then it got to a point where I was like, I can't touch everything in a day. So I'd push it on to the next day. But then what happens is the stuff that I didn't finish yesterday would get pushed back another day. You get what I mean? Yeah. Because if I did something on Monday, yeah, if I did something on Monday and then the next day on Tuesday, I'm working on something completely different. Whatever I didn't finish on Monday, I'm going to have to do on Wednesday. You get what I mean? And yeah, and, and, that, and back that's, that's something Tuesday. that a lot of people need to like realize right now is like, don't do too much at once. You know, a lot of people are like, yo, I just enrolled to your boy Will's course. I want to get into reselling, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, bro, have you gone through like Will's course yet? They're like, nah, man, like I just enrolled, like blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, bro, go through his course. You know, obviously he has a lot of value to offer. Try it out. If you like it, if you, if you're good at it and you, you, um, you see results, stick to it. You know what I mean? If you don't, then come hit me up. You know what I mean? Don't just join my course. Cause you, you enrolled in my homies course. Like this is kind of weird Yeah, because then you're not going to do, you're going to, lower my success rate you get what i mean yeah because i try to keep my success rate really high with the amount of students that join i don't just want everybody in my course you get what i mean it's like exclusive yeah i want it to be like yo are you really down to do this like do you really want to get into this and if you are like yeah come join <laughs> like that's how i try to put it i think the problem is though man is that people go like they hear shit like oh you i'd rather know how to do a hundred things than be an expert at one thing, but now nah, I'd rather be an yeah. expert at one thing than know how to do a hundred things. Uh, right, that's what I'm saying. Or one or two. You can always outsource things, and you can always yeah. like I know people who do everything. Like I know someone who does e-commerce. I know someone who does uh, who flips houses. I know someone who's in real estate. I know somebody who um who owns a detailing business. Like I actually, me and Will actually own a detailing business, but we just hired someone full time. Detailing what? Detail ATO. For cars, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that person just works, it runs it yeah, all. It's, it's just started. Percentage? Just started, yeah. Damn. So we're we're working on that. It's been a little low key, but we're doing that as well. Um, since me and Will are so tapped in on what we're doing, we have this person who's already good at it, and we're like, "Yo, run this shit." We'll you know what I mean? You. We already have all this stuff. We already funded the business. We already have the everything you need. Run it. And that's it. So. You know, outsource. You can outsource anything nowadays. Like, why do you need yeah. to know? Why do you need to learn everything? <laughs> it, I mean? it makes sense, man. Yeah. I think the problem is that, like, it's kind of like overexposure. It's kind of like the the more you know, the less you use. You ever heard that? Mm -hmm. At, like YouTube, bro. YouTube University, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how Facts. we've learned everything. But the problem is, it can be negative. It can be bad for you because. Like you said, man, you're trying to touch everything because it all sounds so good. Yeah. It's definitely good to know how to do certain things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but just try not to do everything at once. Get what I mean? Yeah. Like, like when I did Shopify, I only did Shopify and I would do shoes, but it wasn't as heavy. You get what I mean? Yeah. And when I did Etsy, I only did Etsy. I didn't do shoes as much when I did, um, what else did I do? Um, I haven't done Amazon. No. Nah. So just Shopify and Etsy. That's all I really, really done e-commerce wise um, and my course. So when I want to focus on my course, I'm going to take a whole day focus on my course. Um, stuff like that. Like don't try to, oh, wake as well. You know, when we did wake, we only focused on wake and stuff like that needs to like be realized. Like you can't do everything at once. You know, the only reason why our businesses do so well is because we only focus on that one thing. Get what I mean? At a time. Yeah. And it's kind we, of we don't try around. to focus on everything at once. You can always try things. And then if you like it, continue doing it. If you don't, move on. Don't don't focus. Don't sit back too much trying to realize, oh, like, what do I do now? Like, bro, there's so much to do. There's a million ways to make money online. Stop. <laughs> Like, do what you got to do, bro. If you didn't fuck with it, move on. 
It's crazy, bro. It's yeah. crazy how much you can do online. You can just sit down on the internet. Yeah. And one thing I want to learn, you know, with all this stock market stuff going on, you know, I want to tap into the stock market. I want to know what shares I need to buy, um, what calls to buy, what options to buy. Like, I want to know that stuff because I know people who are doing it and they're pretty good at it. And I'm like, okay, bet. Like, that's something on the side that I can use. Get what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that I was just talking to you about that. I was like, yeah, bro. Like, you, um, and you forex. told me you did forex. Yeah, yeah. Forex. I've never done forex, but I know people who do, and I know people who are trying to learn it. So, you know, good, good. Bro, thing I could to teach them. a fucking course on forex. To be honest with you, Word. I just don't have the time. Yeah, yeah bro, bro. I sunk yeah. like a year and a half into that shit. That's good. See, like forex, I, I've never done it. So I can't really, I'm not going to put something or do anything that I haven't done because then I'm putting my students at risk. You get what I mean? Yeah, of course, because yeah. they're going to trust your lead. Right. And if, they, and if it's a and bad if lead. if it fucks up, then like they're going to be like, yo, Lex, like, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> right. I'd rather take the risk first and do it myself than, um, you know, put my students at risk. I mean, all right. Well, so that's, that's a, the economic kind of side. But so kind of just more on a general sense with this Corona shit and with business, like, what do you think is about to go down? Like, where um, do you think it's going to go from now, man? Do you think it's going to keep getting worse? Oh, uh, like not worse. To be honest, I, I don't want to like say that, but what I said earlier, you know, like a lot of businesses are closing. Um, but how far do you think that'll go, bro? Like, OK, so what? Know, we close. Because I feel like everything is um, the only time will tell. Like, you never know, because I, I didn't know it was this serious. To be honest, until the NBA canceled the season. That pissed me off. I was like, Do you see that guy touch all the mics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Rudy the Gobert. Hell? Fucking idiot. Yeah, he's a goof. That's a goofy man. Yeah, see, bro. Basically, like, like that. when that happened, I was like, yo, this shit is serious. And then after that, everything just went doo, 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 downfall. In like a week. Yeah. Five days. National, they put New York State of Emergency, National. Cali. Um, mm-hmm. Washington. Yeah, it's crazy right now. But uh, people but, just aren't talking. Oh, so the what? Facts. What do you think? I, what I think is gonna happen? I think yeah, it's gonna get worse. Um, businesses are gonna start to close down. Small businesses, you know, gyms. No one's gonna have them in inside. They just closed LA Fitness to the end of April. So basically, bro, till the end of April is gonna be shitty. <laughs> what about? <laughs> it's uh, gonna be like, yo, you're either gonna come up or you're gonna go outside. You could pick which 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 route you want to go. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. Just what kind of like, like yeah, the businesses are gonna close, but do you, like what kind of things do you think like is gonna happen to try to help this kind of stuff? Because it's kind of everyone, man. Like, do you think their places should suspend rent? Should banks mm. like extend mortgage like payments? Like, like. Do you think due dates for payments should be pushed back? Because if people can't go to work, bro, if everything's shut down, like, that's kind of something that's, like, once again, we're all, all on an even playing field. Like, what do you do? I, I, I really think it depends on your income. You know, not everyone should be getting $1,000 if they don't need $1,000. You get what I mean? Yeah. Um, I really do think it depends on how much money you make. And if give that $1,000 to people who need that thousand dollars you know what i mean um yeah i mean i don't know banks bank wise government wise i really don't know man like to be honest i haven't really been paying attention like like i told you like i've been saying i've really just been doing my own thing you know i see things on twitter and stuff but i really don't pay attention to it like i as long as if it's not affecting um you know, the people around me too much that I'm just like, okay, you know, that means things are still well, st things are still good. But the thing with me is like all my friends, we're all online based. You get what I mean? Yeah. Let me just check. Make sure this is good. Yeah, we're good. Everything's good. But this yeah. is really good. I don't want this to cut. Okay. Keep going. So because you guys are online based, you haven't really seen it affected. Yeah. So therefore it hasn't really touched your bubble. Yeah. Really. To be yeah. honest. And I feel like, yeah, that's a, I mean, um, I don't the only people you. it's affected are the people that have regular jobs, um, have to go into work and shit like that. And you know, what's crazy is like, I always praise like, yo, fuck a job. And now like I say, fuck a job and people get offended because they don't have one anymore. <laughs> and I'm Dude. just like, shit, bro. I mean, I told you, bro, like, 
I fucking told you, like, if you don't have a business in 2020, like, you're slacking. If you're not doing some type of side hustle, like, you're slacking. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm just, man, I the thing is, I'm just trying to, like, I'm just trying to wait for it to blow over, bro. Because it's just, oh, man, it's just, it's been limiting me and some of the goals I've had. Because mine involved people interacting, bro. And, like, you know, it's one of those things where, okay, yeah, I'm doing the podcast still and I'm just chilling. And you know what? What can you do? Hold it down. But I'm kind of pissed, bro. <laughs> because I had goals for the beginning of summer, end of summer. Like, I got some shit coming up for the podcast that I haven't announced yet that I was going to do. And now I got to push that off. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's and, affecting everyone, bro. It's but affecting it's, everybody. I just think that there's kind of like a part of it that needs to be taken seriously. But then a part of it that's kind of propaganda, man. Like, I just think panic anxiety like you can that's contagious you can spread yeah. that like a virus people dude i was working the other day and it was seven in the morning it was actually six fifty-five, <laughs> and there was a line outside of Publix, bro oh, like a full-ass line parking lots filling up people are pulling in yeah i was that's when i was like that was my moment where i was like damn bro people are legit yeah it's going wild it's going crazy and that's bad man because it's really not even that bad and then people do that and then people get freaked out and then you know people start firing off people start tripping out people start yeah this is this is gonna wake a lot of people up to where um now is the time to like change and i could say like it's a good time to change you know change your habits change what you're doing because you're gonna start to realize yourself like damn you know i can't go outside there's really nothing to do out there why am i even out here if I'm not doing anything all day inside, if I'm not making any money, I'm not getting my bills paid. If I'm not making any money, I'm not eating. And yeah, a lot of people are going to start to change their habits. You know, they're going to be like, fuck, you know, I actually need to work out. Um, it's, it's, this is like everyone's downtime to themselves to really like figure out themselves and figure out what I need to do. Like, look at the look what's going on outside. And how am I going to survive if this happens again? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like right now is a perfect time to like change, change for a good. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that means like surrounding yourself with different people, um, you know, moving your uh, surroundings away. You know, like let's say the people you're hanging out with aren't the best people and not on the same route as you, you know, definitely separate yourself from them. Um you know, definitely change a lot of your habits, like your eating habits, all that stuff is going to change. You're going to see, you're going to see a lot of people, if you're eating out right now, it's like drive through only. So what are you doing? You're just, you're bored. You're going to go out, get some food, come back. You home. think people are going to save more money now and realize yeah, that they're wasting they're gonna, money on bullshit? Facts, bro. That's what I'm saying. And, and people are going to start to change. You know what I mean? That's people crazy. are going to start to change the way they do things because they're going to realize like, holy shit, like, this is how much money I could possibly have if I just stayed my ass inside <laughs> and just did some of this stuff. Even me, like, you know, I drive a lot and Same. not driving. I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, you know, I haven't had to pump gas in about a week. Like I pumped gas this past weekend um, because of shoes and stuff. But I'm chilling right now. Like I have no reason to go out. There's no reason for me to put money in my car. You know what I mean? It's just sitting there. Yeah, it's just sitting. Yeah. The, here, here's a different um uh here's a different outlook. What was I gonna say? Damn, why did that just happen? Did we go blank? Um what were we talking about? We're we're talking about uh going out. Talking about changes right now, basically. Yeah, and everyone's downtime. Damn, mm -hmm. I was gonna how it's gonna affect people. Yeah, then we're talking like about that. people staying home. <laughs> And then we're talking about, oh my God, I really want to hit this. My guy point. had a brain fart. I had man. a brain fart, bro. I think it'll come back to me. We were just pretty much talking about how, you know, people are going to be affected long term from this. Yeah. I just. It is. What's good is like, every. I feel like everyone needs this downtime, though, because everyone had these 2020 goals, right? And, you know, depending on what your goals are, like yours, you know, it's it's been affected. But for others, it's like, you know, people wanted to eat healthy and they wanted to get right. Like, they're going to realize, oh, man, oh, I, I wasn't it. doing Keep any going, of that on. shit. You get what I mean? Yeah. And now they're going to be like, all right, bet. Like, this is my time to, like, 
do what I need to do. But yeah, go ahead. Tell me what. Sorry, this is gonna take a different turn. But have so have you been seeing the posts about how much the environment has got better? Like really? there's like an aerial like 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 uh, what's it called satellite like footage of China and you can see like a week or two or a month ago it's all like orange from pollution mm-hmm. and now it's all white and then <laughs> Italy those like creeks and rivers that you always see people like getting rowed down boats on they're like clear now and you can see all the fish and what? the water still and ducks are back and it just goes to show that even when people slow down for like a week or two bro the environment starts to get so much better so that's another thing that I think is gonna start happening. Is after this kind of like not blows over, but gets be- like we get over it. I think mm-hmm. people are gonna realize that we can change the environment, bro. Yeah. It's just everyone has to chill out and not be running around. I don't Facts. know. But yeah, but fuck. On That's... a better note, man, stay posted for this video we're about to shoot <laughs> with the shoes. Yeah, we can go ahead and we can get into that. You know, I got a few shoes right there that I copped this past weekend. Um. Oh wait, no, no, no. we're gonna we're gonna do a separate video. Oh, okay, bet. Yeah, we're gonna do a separate video. That's gonna be its own thing. But stay in tune for that to drop. Yeah. After this podcast, probably maybe the same time. That's see, that's another thing. Might as well talk about it now while we're talking about it. It's gonna be a lot more videos coming. Uh, it's interesting. We talked about Dooley because I was talking to Dooley as well, and we're gonna meet up soon once this Corona thing dies yeah. down. We're gonna shoot like a day in the life of. Mm-hmm. Go to the office, maybe go to a deal. Who knows? Yeah. That'll be cool, and. So there's going to be a lot more videos on the way. And, uh, you know, Lex is going to be first because Lex is the man, you know, <laughs> hey, first man. first to come back for a second interview and first to get the video. <laughs> <laughs> bet, bet, bet. But, yeah, I appreciate everyone um tuning in on to this podcast. I hope some of the things I said, you know, really woke you up. Um, Don't be too down right now with, you know, hard times. Uh, try, to, try to stay focused. Uh, Get what you need to do done, like. Get that shit done. Don't do it now. I mean, don't do it later. Do it now. You know what I mean? I actually just told one of my friends that because she just be procrastinating. Like right now is not the time to procrastinate. You know, get that shit done. Um, Stay healthy. Stay focused. And y'all be safe, man. Y'all be safe. Hell yeah, man. Thanks again for coming on. We'll we'll do the fist bump. And yeah, sure. I'm Sharp on Milan. Today we got once again Alexis Montoya. Follow me on Instagram, Alexis period Montoya. Yep. Hell yeah. Gotcha. And check out Resale Course Essential. Oh, facts. Yep. Shout out REC. Hell yeah. This has been Time Shared. Thank you. All right.